Well, hello there. This is Vituals Chess Noob learning and having fun with chess. Welcome to another episode of Quick Wins. But before we start today, I just wanted to show you a quick peek of this, my new book on 50 plus 2 Chess Quick Wins. It's almost ready for release. This is an early sample. I'm going through it, basically, to go through errors. I'm going to probably make a few uh, a few amendments before releasing it formally. I'll talk about it a little bit more. Now, I had this game just a few days ago, and of all the quick wins I've had, I've probably won more quick wins using the England Gambit against the Queen's Pawn opening than any other opening. And the England Gambit is again, of course, against the Queen's Pawn opening, and e5. In this game, they accepted. And the thing about the England Gambit, here we move down the main line, is that it's a very tricky opening. And the majority of the times I've had a quick win wasn't even with the specific trap line. Now, in this game, my opponent played two knights. That's a perfectly good response at a very high depth. Stockfish reckons that bishop to f4 or to g5 might be a little bit better, but it's really very, very close. But in this position, whenever white doesn't contest the center, doesn't contest the pawn on e5, what we should do is very simple. We should take back if we can. So knight captures, of course, pressuring, pressuring that knight. And tactically, I want you to keep an eye on the fact that that comes with check. Now, the opponent decided to give up that extra pawn. That's often not a bad idea in Gambit so that you don't lose development time. They play e4, that's fine. I play d6. Now, potentially c6 might have been a little bit better, and that is because there would be basically uh, two squares uh, in between from the knight, and that stops the knight from doing this. So of course, they now attack my queen. I decide to bring it all the way back. They now develop a bishop, and that was actually a little bit slow. That was a little bit inaccurate. It would have been better to do it this way uh, and to trade knights. And here we're almost back to equality. White still has a very minor advantage, but we're almost back to equality. I develop the other knight. They decide to take. That's fine. That allows me to develop my queen. And white now blunders with bishop to f5. And in fact, here it's almost, oh, let's have a look, it's a little bit worse than minus five. Now it looks like the bishop is attacking the queen, defended by the knight, so it looks like, you know, maybe they win a bit of tempo. However, remember that this knight came with check? Well, we can now remove the defender of that bishop, and because it comes with check, we win tempo. So my knight, the black knight, says the white knight, well, hello there. Captures with check, they take. Queen takes the bishop. Emotional damage. White here opted to resign. They blitzed out the opening in a 15 plus 10 game, and so had more time at the end than when they started. But emotional damage, good game, GG.